Hey, and welcome back to the story of Richardson. Today, we're gonna learn a little bit more about Maidstone. Last episode, we actually witnessed the wedding between Thomas and Janice. And today, we're gonna see if Janice is living well in Maidstone. And if Maidstone has something spicy up his sleeve to maybe get Thomas out of his comfort zone again. First, in the beginning of the year, Janice thought she needed to meet a lot of people in Maidstone to make friends and make maybe the rot a little bit better than it is already because Janice has big plans for her life and where she want to be when she's old. But for some strange reasons, no one wanted to talk to Janice. She tried all spring long to get friends, but no one wanted to do anything with her. And she was so frustrated that no one talked to her. And she didn't know what she did wrong. When suddenly, she understood. She still has her working clothes on. And a plague dog was, is nothing you wanted to have to do with. So the next thing that she needs to do is get new clothes and a better standing with the people in Maidstone. So time went by. Janice knew why no one wanted to talk to her and change that. And she found actually some friends. So nothing special happened. And Thomas and Janice just lived their life. Classic normal life. And when 1406 came by, they both got their first daughter. And that was a turning point for the whole family. Right in the beginning of the fatherhood of Thomas, something happened in front of their own house. Something that he never thought could happen in Maidstone. Two thugs fought each other right in front of the family home. Thomas knew instantly that he needed to stop this madness and run out and find out how he could stop them. But when he came out, the fight was already over. One of the thugs lay on the ground. He was unconscious, but not dead, thankfully. So he helped them out to get up again. Well. But he didn't want to talk to him and run away. After that, Thomas decided, I need to find out what happened there. The thug didn't want to talk to him and just ran away. So Thomas went to the market, the one place someone that someone maybe know what happened. You. But even there, no one cared. No one was like, that's a normal thing for us. And then Thomas knew, oh yeah, that's a normal thing. And all is well. He got several times pickpocketed, but he never thought so severe of it. But now he has a daughter and a wife that he loves. He wanted to change something and maybe find a better place for both. Someone has spoken. <laughs> that was the point when Thomas knew he needs to work harder than he ever did. He worked every night, started to fish in the day, and in the night cooked the fish to sell it in the morning, give it Udolf, and maybe he gets more money than even he could get out. He told him, we need more money to ev for every one of us, so he can move out of this hole and maybe get a secured place for all of us. So while Thomas worked hard at the rod, Janice knew she needs to help Thomas. So she tried to find another cook or another fisher. She actually found quite easy one. One day, when she tried to hire one someone, Gertrude came by. Gertrude is a young woman from a village nearby. And she's fitting it excellent. She is known for fishing. And she can cook. Since her father had her own, own place before he died. And she's just searching her job again. So Gertrude came the next day and helped out with cooking and fishing in the old rod. So time went by. Thomas worked hard. They got a new cook. 
and the outrun went well. But still, the money was not that amount that he thought he could work out. So he went back to this fishing place. The other day just to think about what he's doing next. And then he knew. He knew to expand. He knew to expand in new options. In new industries. In a pub maybe? Since there is no pub? On a different type of company. He still doesn't know. But he needs to change the old rod. Or maybe get something new together. Get the old rod and something plus. We still don't know. But we maybe find out. Even Thomas doesn't know it right now. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Guild 3. It was a quite a short episode again, uh, since I'm in a first aid teacher's course. Is that the right English word? So I teach first aid later. I have no idea. Uh, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so I don't have time for longer episodes. I still hope you enjoyed this shorter episode and you come by in the next episode when we find out in which direction Thomas wants to go to get more money and, and maybe get some security up. Even I don't know right now since I didn't play more the Guild 3 and I need to do this now. So I'm heading out playing the Guild 3. I hope you have a nice day and stay safe. Bye.